there anything I can do to make it up to you? That's very sweet. Yeah, um, I have got an itch that I have not been able to get to all day. And I need to... 10 to 12. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he looks so funny. I bet he looks better in real life. He's like winking. Not your, in all of them. Your sweater matches the color of the boxes. Okay. In a little bit. Hey everyone, welcome to day 95 of what I learned today. And what I learned today is that I hate it when people schedule things one day in advance. So for a while now, about three years, I've been using Google Calendar to schedule my week out and everything. I mean, I schedule things out months and months and months in advance. Um, I'm just super organized now. It's taken a while to get this point, but I'm at the point now where if I know something's happening, I put it in my Google Calendar right away and it's there, it's solid. And most of the time I schedule things at least two weeks in advance, sometimes a week uh, on special occasions, but things have to be planned in advance because I have work, I have school, I have my own projects, um, I have other responsibilities. Things are very set in stone with my time and when I collaborate with someone else new that's not really um, a routine thing and just a one-time deal where I'm just gonna help them out once I'm like okay you know just uh, I tell them as a disclaimer let me know at least a week in advance because you know I'm flexible but if I get at least a week then I can ask for some time off or move some stuff around for my personal time but <laughs> time and time again that person will come to me and say Hey, can you do this thing in two days? Like, can you meet tomorrow? Or, hey, can you go out and do this thing today? And I'm just left completely baffled by <laughs> that I could just drop everything. Like, yes, if I was really dedicated to whatever they were gonna say, yes, I would drop everything. That would be a top priority. But a lot of these times, it's a collaborative thing where each of us are getting something out of it. Neither of us are really. Um, like the boss of each other I'm not is a weird way to phrase that but basically it's like we're both getting something out of it and it's it's almost like arrogant to to ask them hey can you drop everything and do this thing tomorrow can you just forget everything that you had scheduled can you forget about work tomorrow and do this thing and and granted a lot of times when I tell them that no I I need you know to do this in four days or five days this is the next time I I have an opening they're really understanding and nice and they're like oh okay that's great thanks for making time for me and stuff i can't really work around people that schedule things so quickly and that's just where i am now in the future in my career or whatever and that's my job to be on the ball and just go and do something right away yes that's gonna be great i that's gonna be a priority for me i can drop things but the thing is, is that like now, if it's not super important to me, I can't just do that. And, and I do that sometimes depending on if it's important enough for me. But it's just frustrating when I tell people time and time again, hey, let me know one to two weeks in advance, then I'll be all set. And then they come to me last minute and be like, hey, can you do this thing? Uh, can, can I get this thing together? I mean, I worked on a collaborative project with someone. Um, they were doing like a music video type stuff. And they're like, hey, can you help me out tomorrow? And I thought to myself, yeah, I, I can. I'll do my best to get some stuff together. And we kind of scrounged up some gear and equipment for the shoot. And then he wasn't happy with how the audio turned out and blamed me for it instead of taking responsibility for the fact that he asked me last minute. So stuff like that, super frustrating to deal with. And um, I'm glad that some people are really understanding with that sort of thing. So on to feelings time, um, really quick. What made me feel negative was that um, I had work at five and Cassie was gonna leave um, and we watched National Treasure 2, but we didn't, <laughs> we didn't account for how long it was gonna take. So I was really rushed before work and um, we didn't get a lot of time to properly say goodbye. Um, but what made me feel positive is that um, I had a lot of fun with some people at work today. Um, we were talking about like different video stuff, um, 
my video game idea, just a lot of fun stuff. Um, there's some great people that I work with. Um, so if you made it this far, you might as well hit that subscribe button and tune in every day for a new video and comment down below which person are you? Are you at a place where you can just schedule things one day and you ask people, hey, can you do this thing tomorrow? Or are you on more like my side where you need one to two weeks before you make a schedule change? Leave that comment down below so we can all learn together and grow together. And with that, I'll see you tomorrow. Psychopath leaves all these Snickers for me to eat. I mean, they're not even like, not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad.